subtraction kids in order to understand the concept of subtraction let us play the game of lagori now that will be fun first let us place a pile of six stones now when they've hit the pile of six stones with a softball three of the stones flew away well let us find out the remaining number of stones that will be 6 minus 3 which means only 3 stones are remaining here there are four birds sitting on the branch of tree suddenly two of them flew away how many birds are left on the branch that would be 4 minus 2 which is equal to 2 so only 2 birds are remaining on the branch now there is a flower pot of roses and it had 5 roses now Shruti came plucked 2 roses and went away so how many roses are left in the pot that would be 5 minus 2. So, 3 roses are remaining in the pot. If you notice, there are 3 bicycles on the ground. Now, Rhea came, started riding one of the bicycles and went away. How many bicycles are left? That would be 3 minus 1. Which means it is equal to, you are right, 2. Here is a plate with 6 laddus on it. And of course you love laddu. Anuj came and took away 2 laddus. Now we have to find the number of remaining laddus. The above subtraction is written as 6 minus 2, that would be 4. There are 5 chicks in the bowl. Two of them went away. How many chicks are left? So it will be 5 minus 2, which is equal to 3. Three frogs are playing on the ground. Suddenly, one of them went in the pond. How many frogs are left? It will be three minus one. That means the answer is you write two. The mouse stole one puri. How many puris are left in the basket? Well, if you notice the basket, there are four puris. Mouse took away one. So it is four minus one, which means three puris are left in the basket. The goat ate one banana. How many bananas are left in the basket? First, let us count the number of bananas in the basket. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 bananas in the basket. Goat came and had taken 1 away. So how many bananas are left? That would be 7 minus 1, which means the answer is 6. So 6 bananas are left in the basket. Introducing the minus sign for subtraction. Now, there are six umbrellas. Well, out of the six umbrellas, four umbrellas are removed. So, how many umbrellas are left? 
that would be 6 minus 4. So, 2 umbrellas are left. In the second segment, I can see there are 5 custard apples. Do you like custard apple? Well, I love it too. Out of 5 custard apples, 3 of them are taken away. So, how many custard apples are left? That would be 5 minus 3. So, the answer is 2. So, 2 custard apples are left. In this segment, first let us count the total number of butterflies. There are 1, 2, 3, 4. So, there are 4 butterflies. And let us see how many of the butterflies flew away. They are 1, 2, 3. So, 3 butterflies flew away. Now, we will find the number of butterflies left. That would be 4 minus 3. So, the answer is 1. In this segment, first let us find the total number of purses. They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, out of 5 purses, let us see how many purses are removed. That is 1, 2. So, 2 purses are removed, which means 5 minus 2. So, the answer would be 3. That means 3 purses are left. The animals have a feast. An elephant, two monkeys, three rabbits, one cow and two deer came for the feast. Kids, can you tell how many there were at the feast altogether? Well, let us see the picture and count the number of animals. There were two monkeys, right? And one cow. So, two plus one makes it three. There was one elephant. So, three plus one makes it four. Three rabbits. So, four plus three makes it seven. And two deer. So, seven plus two is equal to nine. Which means, in all, there were nine animals. The cow made kheer. The monkeys made nine bhakris. The rabbits made a radish dish. And the deer brought twelve guavas. And the sugar canes that the elephant pulled out and brought, they were seven. The cow filled eight bowls with kheer. Were they enough? Well, there may be one bowl less. Hmm, so cow said, Moo, I'll go without kheer. Then you'll all get one bowl each. But each one will get one bhakri. We have counted, right? Now, how many more sugar games are needed? Can you tell? Well, there were seven sugar games and nine animals. So, nine minus seven makes it two. Which means two more sugar canes were needed. But then Rabbit said, We'll share one sugar cane between us. Then all the others will get one sugar cane each. Will they? Well, count and make sure. Hmm, I think they will. 
If each one is given one guava, how many guavas will be left over? Now, total number of guavas were 12. And total number of animals, 9. Now, 12 minus 9 makes it 3. So, 3 guavas are left. Subtraction. What problems? Rajat had four sweets. He ate two. How many sweets left? Answer. Now, total number of sweets Rajat had is equal to four. Total number of sweets Rajat 8 is equal to 2. So the sweets left would be 4 minus 2 which is equal to 2. 9 hats in the shop. 5 hats sold. How many hats left in the shop? Total number of hats 9. Number of hats sold, 5. So, number of hats left in the shop would be 9 minus 5, which is equal to 4. There were 7 pairs in the box. 3 pairs were given to the children. How many remain in the box? Total number of peras in the box is equal to 7. Peras given to the children is 3. So the peras remaining in the box would be 7 minus 3, that is 4. So 4 peras remain. Roshni had three balls. She gave one to Amit. How many are left with her? Number of balls Roshni had is equal to three. Balls she gave to Amit is equal to one. Now number of balls left would be three Minus 1, that is 2. So, 2 balls are left with Roshni. 5 little birds in the nest. 3 flew away. How many left in the nest? Number of birds in the nest, 5. Number of birds which flew away, Three birds left in the nest would be five minus three, that is two. So two birds are left in the nest. Subtraction continued. Subtract. Now, can you tell me what is 2 minus 1? You're right, it is 1. How about 3 minus 1? Well, it is 2. 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1 would be 3. 5 minus 1. Now, 5 minus 1 would be, you are correct, 4. How about 6 minus 1? Well, that would be 5. 7 minus 1. Now, 7 minus 1 would be 6. 8 minus 1. 8 minus 1 would be 7. Now, 9 minus 1. 9 minus 1 would be 8. 
What about 3 minus 2? 3 minus 2 would be 1. How about 4 minus 2? You're right. 4 minus 2 is 2. 5 minus 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. 6 minus 2. Again, you're right. It is 4. 7 minus 2. 7 minus 2 is 5. What about 8 minus 2? Right. 8 minus 2 is 6. 9 minus 2. Again, you're right. It is 7. 4 minus 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. How about 5 minus 3? 5 minus 3 is 2. 6 minus 3. 6 minus 3 is 3. What about 7 minus 3? You're right. 7 minus 3 is 4. 8 minus 3. Now 8 minus 3 is 5. 9 minus 3. 9 minus 3 is 6. 5 minus 4. Now 5 minus 4 is 1. What about 6 minus 4? You're right, it is 2. How about 7 minus 4? Yes, it is 3. And 8 minus 4. 8 minus 4 is 4. What about 9 minus 4? It is 5. 6 minus 5. Now 6 minus 5 is 1. What is 7 minus 5? You're right. 7 minus 5 is 2. How about 8 minus 5? Right again. It is 3. 9 minus 5. Now 9 minus 5 is 4. 7 minus 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. What about 8 minus 6? 8 minus 6 is 2. And 9 minus 6 is 3. Now we have 8 minus 7. Yes, it is easy. 8 minus 7 is 1. And 9 minus 7? Right! 9 minus 7 is 2. How about 9 minus 8? Is definitely one. Hey kids, let us see some magic. In fact, it is a mathematical trick. Well, do you know what is 9 minus 4? You're right, it is 5. You know what? Even 6 minus 1 is 5. And even 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. Well, 7 minus 2 is equal to 5 as well. Isn't it a magic? Why don't you do the magic yourself? Now, let me give you the first term. 8 minus 5 is 3. Now find a few more numbers where... One number when subtracted from the second number gives 3 as answer. You are right. 4 minus 1 is 3 as well. Again you are right. 5 minus 2 is 3 as well. Genius you are. Of course 9 minus 6 is 3 as well. Amazing!